Welcome back to Manny Centric. Today we're going to be doing a video all about our winter favorites. Well, mine personally. But first, um, I'm going to start with what I am wearing on my fingers, which is Sparkle Fingers Magic by Quixotic. And I know that you guys, if you have watched my channel at all, know how excited I am about this polish. It is the quintessential perfect shift between purple and like like a fuchsia-ish reddish purple. And I like both of the colors. So for me, it is a must have. And I have one of my friends to thank from the nail community. I'll go ahead and pop the link to the video from my Christmas nail mail up in the corner. But as you guys can see, I've got some dark sparkles, um, a little yellow, <laughs> and some rosy. But you know what? I'm not going to describe anymore. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm starting out with Lucky, Written in the Stars. And this one by Lucky Lacquer is a gorgeous topper. I love it just because I've been searching for a silver flaky topper to go over some of my polishes to give it like that like frosty look and I really really appreciate that Lucky Lacquer actually made one and I don't think that I had to pay that much for it because I don't think that their polishes are super expensive so that's definitely something you can appreciate and you can tell it's a topper just by the way it goes on kind of sparse um, a little bit, well, no, for a topper, it's not base heavy at all. You're supposed to be just accentuating whatever polish you're wearing, not making this the main event. So as you guys can see, definitely does the job there. And I'm super happy that I grabbed it. Moving on to noodles, nails. Oh my gourd. So this one, my husband picked out cause I had like three frosty grayish teals and I could not decide which one to pick and he was like this one says winter so I really like this one simply because of the complexity the sparkles and micro glitters in here really make this a perfect wintry shade it reminds me of winter skies so that's always a very huge thing for me um, because a lot of my polishes mimic like clouds and a mixture of whatever color I like. So I really loved Oh My Gourd and I'm glad that I went ahead and grabbed it. I think this was actually one of my Black Friday polishes that I snatched up and I haven't had a chance to really do any nail art with it, but I liked it just for the fact that it was pretty. This next one up is J. Ren, meant to be, and I love it even before we get into the fact that it was inspired by Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, as you guys can see, it's like a little bit of gray, a little bit of lavender, and then you've got those iridescent flakies that give it like just a little bit of orange, yellow, pink, which to me look like very it looks like flames um inside of it but that's just personally to me and I really like the pond effect on this because it builds up quickly so I'm not sitting here doing four or five layers of polish I don't know why but I have a thing about having too much bulk on my nails it drives me absolutely nuts so I love formulas that build up very quickly and as you guys can see against my hand oh, so pretty um, oh my gourd is a lot more pigmented but sometimes you just want something a little different and this last the, not the last one but the last one that's grouping is ethereal lacquers sinistre sorry soleil sinistre and I like this one simply because it was like a limited edition duo with a Baroness X thermal that I liked. 
but this one was the clear winner of that two pair because I really like this one. I like the rosy pink. And it does go on sheer, which makes me consider using it as a topper with a similar color. I wouldn't go like too far out of my zone and do something wild like over, um, I don't know, over a forest green. I wouldn't try something like that. But maybe over like a rosy pink, yes. Over a lavender, sure. Maybe even over um, a coral, possibly. But we're going to start moving in to darker colors and not so much flakies with this Essie and Gora Cardi. So I just found out about this one in the fall when I watched the fall favorites and I saw it a lot and I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and buy it. I'll see if I like it. If I don't, it's not a huge loss, but I did actually enjoy it so much that I actually did a mani with it minus any other colors. I just did nail stickers and negative space. That's how much I loved it. And we're not even just talking about the formula and the dark dusky rose. We're just talking about like it just went on so perfectly and so gorgeous. And I feel like it really complements my skin tone. So like in the winter my skin tone doesn't change that much so I can get away with a lot of different colors but this one I really 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 like it so I'm I'm kind of sweet on this one if you guys can't tell and that was just like the first coat even over these transparent nails on the swatch lollipop that I'm using so we're going to go ahead and take another look at that and then we're going to go ahead and move on. Next up we have Ella Mila Rising Violet. I had to have one purple in here and I didn't want to do a metallic purple because I'm, I don't know, in the winter I'm really not excited about metallics as much. It's more creams and shades that'll go well with gray because... I wear a lot of gray in the winter. So I felt that Rising Violet would actually accentuate whatever grays that I'm wearing during the season. And that's it being used in a mani that I did recently for the Varnish Centric B-Day collab. And I was really excited about how it turned out just because it looked gorgeous on my tips. But as you can see, I'm doing like two coats on this and builds up so fast, which is perfect for me as far as the time saver goes. And it's Ella Mila, so like I'm a huge fan of Ella Mila pro products, so you knew there was going to be at least one in here. And I haven't used it with Angora Cardi, but I think I might use it with Soleil Sinistre because I think that they would go well together. But we're going to move into a dark sparkly Pep Nail Vibes Bodega um, because I grabbed this one as well um, on Black Friday because I wanted some purple dark sparkles. Um, this one, it's the dark purple base, but you've got like actually yellow and orange micro flakies and flakies in there. And that really, really intrigued me because I thought, how cool would that look? Because I usually just go with dark purples with a gold shimmer. I've never actually done it with like flakies. So I think it looks pretty amazing even in that first coat but like two coats in and I my whole breath is taken away because I think it's just that gorgeous that I can't stop staring at my nails and I haven't had a chance to use this one in a nail art yet so you won't see a little picture over to the side because I can't decide if I actually want to even do any nail art it's so pretty by itself. So 
yeah, that's that's one of those that I would not try in summer. Um, and next up, we've got Zoya Ashton. I think this one came out during the fall. I can't remember. But all I remember is buying it and saying, I'm going to save you till winter. You're such a winter sparkle. <laughs> and that's because it has that dark base like I love. But with the shir with the shimmer and the sparkle. And it just really makes me so excited. And... I normally don't get a chance to wear these because I would not wear them in the spring, too heavy, in the summer, too dark, and in the fall, I feel like even in the fall, it's still a little too dark. That's when I want to wear like autumn colors that remind me of leaves. So that leaves winter as my last chance to rock these and still feel like really comfortable wearing them. So, as you can see, that one's Ashton. I have not figured out what I want to do with it yet. These are going to probably end up swatches. Um, Zoya, and I think I'm saying this right, Adita. I could be wrong. Please go ahead and correct me in the comments if I'm saying these wrong. But I love this one specifically because this is what I thought... Um, I thought Buffalo Bills, Bills, Bills by China Glaze was going to be more green and it was actually more brown. So I had to go in search of a dark green shimmer and found this one at Zoya. And <sighs> like all I can say is, because <sighs> that's the way I look. That's the way I sounded when I looked at it. I was just so relieved that here it was. And it, it takes a while for you to actually like see it. Like you see it like in the second and third coat. It almost shifts from like a greenish metallic to a yellow metallic. And I love that so much. Um, but I found that... That would be absolutely perfect for what I was going for. But as you guys, you'll see, we'll see one of the colors from China Glaze really, really grew on me. And I decided that it would be great for winter. That's China Glaze Cowboy Buy. I know that you guys have seen this a lot of times because this became so popular. And when I first got it, I was upset because I wanted it to be a blue base. I didn't want it to be a brown base. So like I was throwing a whole little miniature temper tantrum about it. And then after having it in my collection for a little while, wearing it a couple of times, it started to grow on me and I became really comfortable with it. And actually it inspired a Manny that I did because it was brown and blue and I didn't know that those two looked so good together until I had cowboy buy in my collection so as you guys can see it made it into my winter favorites just for like blue sparkle on a brown base why did I never why didn't somebody had to have thought of this and I just wasn't exposed to it because it's just that pretty like and it's so rich it reminds me of like chocolate with some navy foil metallic wrapper <laughs> so now that we're over my obsession with candy we're gonna move into our last polish of this collection sorry this video was so long guys but well worth the wait is polish and I'm pretty sure I'm saying this one wrong as well. Miel. And I love this one so much because I wanted to buy it as soon as it came out. Could not make room for it in my budget. But Black Friday came and saved the day. So I was able to snatch one up. And I like this one because it's a yellow that doesn't intimidate me. It's not lemon yellow. It's not banana yellow. It's nice and subdued and muted. 
and then it's got that hint of gold sharp gold sparkle that just really accents it so well that you stare at it without intending to because I'm not even obsessed with yellow yet I'm getting there um, hanging out with <laughs> hanging out with certain yellow obsessed nail nanny experts makes you really learn to appreciate how pretty yellow is and I found that for me subdued yellows are everything so again that one was from polish and I don't know if you guys got to see the sparkle but oh I just I think it's so pretty I just I love it I actually decided to go ahead and just wear it in like two manis recently so it's it's newness hasn't worn off yet but that's a final view at the swatch wheel and my sparklies thank you guys so much for watching today if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing i'd love to have you if you're part of my nail fam thanks again for joining and please don't forget to support the other ladies in this